Okay, um, what we're going to make today are a pair of pants for your little one. Um, what you're going to need is you're going to need a pair of pants that fit her really well now. I chose a pair of corduroys. Um, you're going to need a paper shopping bag cut open, um, a pen or pencil, and some scissors. Okay, what you're going to do first, um, this is probably the most important part, the bottom of your paper bag here, you want to make sure you take a ruler and you have a very straight edge because um, otherwise your pattern is going to be messed up. So that's the first thing you need to do is make sure you have a straight edge at the bottom of your paper bag. Next, we're going to take our pants and um, fold them back pockets together like this. And then you're just going to lay them down on your paper bag. Just make sure they're nice and flat. Okay. And what you're going to do is you're basically just going to trace it. Um, at the top, you want to make sure you leave, um, I'd say, three quarters of an inch to um, make room for your casing for your waist. So, um, so instead of tracing exactly where your pants are, trace three quarters of an inch above. Okay. You're just going to go along. Okay. Now, when you get down here. Um, we're going to leave a half an inch. Now, you know, you can't use a ruler, you're just going to kind of have to eyeball it, but um, make sure it's approximately half an inch all the way around. Okay. Okay. So now you have your pattern. Um, now, there's a couple variations you can do here if you'd like. If you want to add a ruffle at the bottom, then um, you need to do a little, a little bit of simple math to um, make adjustments there. For example, um, these, the length of this fit my daughter perfectly. So if I wanted to add a three inch ruffle at the bottom, what I'd have to do is take off three inches of the bottom here. Okay, so I would just get a ruler, measure three inches, and make a new line here. Okay, so then you can add the ruffle later. Alright, so now we're just going to cut it out. Okay, so um, I cut out my pattern, okay, and I have my fabric here. Um, what I did was, um, you're going to cut on the fold, okay, so I have my fold here, it's nice and straight, and then I have my pattern, and I'm just going to line it up exactly on the fold. Now, if you're new, you should pin this um, so it doesn't move around, but I'm just going to go through it with my rotary cutter for the sake of time. for my pants. Now I'm going to do this two times. Okay, um, so we have our two pieces for our pants. And then I'm also going to make a ruffle at the bottom of mine. So I have my two rectangles for my ruffle. Okay, um, I wanted to do a three inch ruffle on the bottom. So my rectangles are three and three quarters inches. The reason I did that is because I need a quarter inch for um, my seam, where I'm going to sew it to the other piece, and then a half inch for my hem. Okay? Okay, so we're ready to sew. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to hem um, our ruffles. Okay, really quickly, um, before I start, I, I pressed a quarter inch over and then another quarter inch um, for my hem. Okay, so all I'm going to do is just go through. Got my brown thread in here, and I'm just going to sew across. I'm going to do this for both of my rectangle pieces.
this for both of your pieces. Um, after you do it for both, what you're going to do is you're going to turn it around. So this is your hem side over here. This is the unfinished side. And what we're going to do is we're going to make our, um, our stitch for our gathering. Okay, so what you have to do is you have to make sure that your length is the longest possible length on your machine. My length is a four. Okay, tension is normal. And what you're going to do is um, just about, I don't know, eighth or quarter, quarter inch in, you're just going to go all the way across with a long stitch. I didn't back stitch in the beginning and I didn't back stitch at the end because um, you want to be able to pull on these threads. Okay, so what we did is um, we hemmed the bottom part of our ruffle on both pieces, okay, and then we also put in our gathering stitch. Um, so the next step is we're just going to gather these pieces to make the ruffle. What you're going to do is you're going to pull on the bobbin thread. Um, you could pull on the top, but I find it easier to pull on the bobbin thread. So you're just going to pull all the way across. And as you pull it, you start to get a ruffle. Okay, so you just very, very carefully move it down as you go. Um, just be careful, you don't want to pull too hard, you don't want to break your thread. Okay, and then once you get to about the middle, and go to the other side and pull on that bobbin thread. Okay. Okay, so here we have our ruffle. So what you're going to do after you do that is you're going to take your piece, one of your pant legs. Now this is very important. Um, you have to make sure that you're pinning your ruffle to the wider side, okay? So, um, well, I'm sorry, not so much wider, but the longer side. So you've got your short side here, okay? This is for the, um, the upper part, the pelvis part, and this is the leg. So you want to make sure you're pinning it to the leg part, okay? So what you're going to do, is just going to lay it down flat and you're going to pin right sides together. So here's the right, you're going to be looking at the print side of your pant legs and then you're going to put the right side of the um, ruffle down on top of that. Okay, so just put your first pin in. And then what I like to do is after I have my first pin in, I take my bobbin thread that I was pulling out and I just wrap it around my pin, okay, so it doesn't move and so that the gathers don't come out. Okay, so we're just pinning the ruffle to the pant leg. Okay, it's okay if your gathers, um, if they don't look perfect right now, we can kind of fix them up as we go here. I think after this, the next tutorial I'm going to do is about um, using some of the available accessory feet um, for your machine. And um, my favorite one is the ruffler foot, so I think that's going to be the next tutorial. So then we won't have to do gathers anymore if you use a ruffler foot. Okay, so um, I'm done pinning. Again, I'm going to take my other bobbin thread that I was pulling. I'm going to wrap it around this last little pin.